We knew going in property taxes were going to be a hot topic of this legislative session. But then there's the opposite end of that spectrum freezing as in freezing property taxes. House Bill 409 has garnered a lot of attention this week and the bill sponsor Representative Mike Moyle says putting a freeze on property tax increases across the state is needed to at least start a conversation. And that conversation is needed, Moyle says, because Idahoans are being forced out of their homes with the cost to keep them continuing to go up. So fewer taxes sounds great, right? Well, not everybody sold on it. City and county leaders across Idaho say if there is a property tax freeze, they won't be able to keep up with expenses. Nampa Mayor Debbie Kling told us that very thing this earlier this week. Representative Moyle says he hears that, but it's not enough to change his mind. Joe Paris sat down with Representative Moyle to talk about his bill and the criticism of it. I've seen a lot of comments trying to characterize what you're trying to do. People say, well, he's trying to do this. He's trying to do this. I'll ask you, what are you trying to accomplish? I am trying to accomplish a slowdown in the growth of property taxes, and I am trying to force these taxing districts to come to the table and find a solution. Cities and counties are saying that this is the state you know, not having any skin in the game and they're being punished. <laughs> What's your reaction to that? Uh, the problem that cities and counties have is one, they forget that the state sends back literally hundreds of millions of dollars, over $600 million a year we send back to local governments to subsidize them basically for the stuff we ask them to do. The local governments though forget to tell you that the property tax portion of the budget is very small. And uh, you know, instead of having double digit increases in some places, it's going to slow them down. For those city representatives, Mayor of Nampa, Debbie Kling, very uh, open about. She's pretty know. fired up. I like her. Well, okay, so how do you respond to her comments? You know, the best way to respond to her comments was one of her constituents. His name was Ed, can't remember his last name, in committee, where he just pulls out the proposed budget. And you're talking about a budget going up at about 11% instead of 12.4% by doing what we're doing with this property tax freeze. Remember, property taxes in Nampa are about 23% of their budget. If you're telling me she can't handle the freeze on a small portion of her budget for one year while we try to find a solution to these outrageous property taxes, I'm telling you maybe Nampa needs a new mayor. I know I'm seeing and hearing a lot of things about your bill that did not come from you. Are you seeing stuff that oh, you want to address? Oh heck, man, it's politics, man. Everybody makes up what they want. You know, the thing in politics I've learned is you can tell a lie and the longer you tell it becomes the truth. And you're seeing that now. The fact is the bill freezes the property tax portion of a taxing district's budget for one year. There'll be a follow-up interim committee request. And if they don't want and can't live with the property tax freeze for one year, then let's sit down and talk in the next few days and find a solution they can live with that slows down the growth in property taxes and keeps those families in Idaho in their homes. And remember, it's a two Idaho situation. Rural Idaho in a lot of places doesn't have a problem. Urban Idaho, Ada, Canyon, Kootenai, Bonneville, Bannock, Twin Falls, they're out of control. And so there's a balance and we cannot find a solution. People aren't willing to talk. Nobody's been willing to talk. Now that the bill's passed, hopefully they're willing to talk. The property tax freeze bill known as House Bill 409. It's now headed to the full house floor. Representative Moyle told me this morning that he expects it to come up on the floor for discussion over the next few days. He adds that he's very open to other ideas. So Brian, he says that he really just wants to talk through these issues and find a solution. For now, though, he says this is the one he's pushing because no one's really wanted to talk about it. It's a pretty harsh words for Mayor Kling there. Yes, but is there an option then for OK? So say this passes, it goes through signed by the governor. It's a law and they put a freeze on property taxes. Is there an option for cities like Nampa that still need that money. There's an option. It's a tough one, though. It's written into the bill that long story short, if you can get two thirds of your voters to agree to impose a new tax, then they're not going to prevent them from raising the taxes. If two thirds of the right. voters were to say, yes, let's do this, it would have to be on one of those May or November ballots. For now, though, it's wait and see. We'll see uh, where this bill goes on the House floor over the next few days. All right, it is going to be a hot topic for sure and continue to be so. All right, oh, yeah. thanks, Joe.